Inter Miami was, was up against it in the second half. And Kamal Miller was wonderful in, in a couple big moments in the second half. Real good in key moments, right? Whether it was defending in his own 18, whether it was defending in the space. I thought it was a great pickup from Chris Henderson and Phil Neville early on in the year. They wanted him left-footed center back. He could play in the three. Half chances, you know, we're used to seeing Messi in those moments deliver in the right spot. But Panico had to come up with a couple good saves. Nothing too extravagant. I think at the end of the game was his best save of the night because real pressure was on. But a lot of Nashville defending was collectively. But the subs changed the game in their favor. Schaffelberg, Mukhtar. I mean, Callender had to come up with a huge save here. If this goes in, now all of a sudden you're throwing caution to the wind. Now you're probably getting a second or third goal. I think Schaffelberg was good in this second half. Changed the game. But Fafa Pico was offside by two yards. The goal happens from Hani Mutar. That comes back, rightfully so. And I just found it interesting in the second half that Inter Miami thrown all the numbers forward. Very reluctant to be worried about the reigning MVP. And who knows? On a different day, Nashville leave here with three points. Lionel Messi took seven shots tonight, including that free kick. Five of them were blocked by Nashville SC. Hani Mukhtar had a chance in stoppage time as well. It was blocked. This was a big moment late. It came off the arm of DeAndre Edlin. Would have been a penalty, but Jacob Schaffelberg was offside previously. Right on this, this play moment. Here. So no penalty for Nash. Yeah, and, then, and that's why I, I'm a huge fan of VAR. Get the right calls in the moments. Take your time. Go through the process of doing so. Jordi Alba saying he saw that from a mile away. This is nerve-wracking, though, if you're getting no, it. Listen, Lionel Messi is left-footed. We get it. It's not as if he can't use his right foot. It's not as if we haven't seen him use his right foot in some of the bigger moments of his career. 